Okay, so she's doing a uh, 12 by 16 canvas. And she's going to be doing a Dutch pour. So we're putting one side is going to be this uh, Payne's Gray. The other side is going to be this uh, cushion of white with some a little bit of this pumpkin color we mixed in to take the edge off the white. She's using turquoise, coral, um, Payne's Gray, copper, uh, chocolate brown, and um, gold, all metallics. The only thing that wasn't metallic is the um, this pumpkin color. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we didn't want to go with pure white. We've been looking at pour your art hard out and notice people make one side of the canvas one color, the other side another color, not necessarily just black and white. You can make it really whatever colors you want on each side. So we're going to try this out. We're going to do an autumn type of themed colored painting. So she's putting her cushion cushion out there. Now this is all tedious, but it's it's totally necessary to put down these cushions because then the rest of your paint will flow into the cushion and, and it'll allow it to move a lot better. I, I love that color combination. Mm -hmm. Wow, almost makes me wonder what it would be like if you if you blew that black just right into that white. <laughs> right? Yep. We're not, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're going to resist. <laughs> She's having fun. <laughs> She's very colorful today. <laughs> I am. Very bright today. Okay, very good. Now, why don't you take your finger with the rubber glove. Okay. And the sides are not covered. Okay. So that's important before we blow because otherwise, you, how you if it blows over the side and you got all this negative, all this bare canvas, how are you going to paint in between all that stuff? Right. So you want to do get that covered now. Then get her finger and just go around, make sure all the sides are covered. That a girl. Pull it down. Pull some of the paint down. Good. I'll let you know if you're covering it. Yeah, it's getting there. Just pull that little end down that's not covered. That's it. Just the trick is making sure your finger has got plenty of paint on it. So if you have to dip into the cup. Ah. Yeah, because otherwise you're just scraping away instead of. Yeah, and you got the all this side to do, and then you gotta do the black side with a different finger, or else you're gonna get a mm -hmm. gray. Right. <laughs> we don't want that. No. Well, this is important to get that covered so that when we blow the sides and it comes over the sides, we don't have to be filling in later with um, paint. I'm going to change my glove. All righty. I'll put this on pause. So we're going to do it by just um, using this cup here. We've never used before the split cup pour. And put it all along the edge here. But you could also do a dustpan pour, which is you get a, a beet shovel and put your colors all in layers in the in the bead shovel and then start at the edge and just let it run like that and then blow and speaking of blowing I better go get the dryer all right so she's you're going to use the split pour cup we try to alternate there it is that's your beautiful cup you're trying to alternate the um, colors so they're not all lights we got lights and darks lights and darks we don't know what's going to happen, but she says, go for it. <laughs> so she gives me courage. <laughs> I like to do her do it first. So then afterwards, I, I know <laughs> what not to do not or to what, to do. what not to do. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's the good thing about having someone do it first. Like if golf, golfing, the first guy teaches you what you shouldn't do. By the time you get to the third guy, you pretty much know. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to hit that shot that way or with that putter or whatever. It is her chocolate brown. And I will photograph the um, the bottles of what she used later. And this, I think, is the copper. Mm -hmm. And they're all metallic, except for this pumpkin color here, which I don't know what it is. Brand. I think it's probably Artist Loft or Liquitex. Well, that looks yummy. 
I just think these colors are going to be absolutely gorgeous on here. And then, of course, how much to blow and how much not to blow. That's uh -huh. always the... That's why you watch 60 million videos. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody can learn to do this, guys, really. You just got to watch the videos and give it a shot. I love that turquoise. Oh, my goodness. Did you add that blue after we saw that lady had the blue in one of hers? Or did you, you already pick that out? I picked... No, you picked this color up. I did? Yeah, you said maybe we should have a blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. This all you. All righty. Yeah, because you got you got a lot of hot colors here. Mm hmm And so a, a cool one is a good idea. Yeah, she's finishing up that cup. Okay. And this is what we have. All right. And they're all about the same level, are they? Mm-hmm. Yes. All righty. So now where are you going to start? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you're so cute. <laughs> you want a tip? Um, give it a give it a shot. I mean, you think you're going to be blowing, right? Right. So you, you, you're you not going to probably start in the middle because you want the, the blowing to go like that and right. like that. Okay. So I would start here and just go right along that right edge. Along Ta -da, dum. Oh, look at those colors coming out. Oh, 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 I think this is a good idea using that cup. Whew. That turquoise against that Payne's Gray is mm -hmm. just stunning. Ew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, put that up here. Okay. Okay, you got your blower. All right. So this is the tricky part. <laughs> so, we know we blow. We're going to go this way and then this way and okay. this way and then this way, okay? What the heck's happening over here? Okay. We want to get this lump out of here. I don't know what that is. It might be nothing, but it looks like a glob to me. Might need a tweezer, but let's see. Did it flatten out? Yeah. I added a little more paint there. It might have had a little glob in it. Yes, yeah, yeah, scrape that. I think it's out now. Okay. It got onto the stick. Okay, we, we don't want any globs. No. Okay. All right. Now the exciting part. It's pretty gorgeous already. It is. It's a neat effect. I'm going to stand back a little. I don't want to get splashed. No. <laughs> Okay, let me show you one thing you're doing wrong. Done a couple of blows. No, not this way. Done a couple of blows this way. And we've got this beautiful negative space up here. With this coming up out this way. Mm -hmm. And of course we have to eliminate that. So I would say blow this way. Okay. And, no, and don't forget to go sideways. Right. Because you, this is good negative space. Yes. This is good negative space. Yeah. This is just a little too solid, but we don't have to have the whole thing covered. So just go like that. Okay. Keep it sideways. So what we have right now is, like I was saying to her, there's, we've got some cells popping up like crazy. Beautiful stuff happening in here. And these color combinations are gorgeous. So this space, is my finger, is different than this space is different than this space, is different than this space. So what you wind up with is a nice amount of uneven negative space. You don't want the spaces to be even. So it's it's divided pretty nice. But I don't think we should do it with the blower anymore because it's very strong. Maybe a little blowing by hand with a straw. So let's try that. Does it do a lot? Well, use your straw then to close that up. Oh, it's getting to be very strong, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Use the straw. Okay. 
to just close it up a little. You can use the straw to close things up. Oh, yeah, I like that little through. thing that came up. I know. <laughs> there you go. You can fix things. And just blow this into that gap. A little lighter blowing. That's it. All the way up into through that. Good, 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 good. So that's what we call fixing. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I love that little cell that popped. Look at that cell. <laughs> love it. Okay. So these beautiful cells coming up here all by themselves. Yes. All nice. And I just don't like this straight line. Okay. So, hmm. Maybe we can just, with the, with the straw, not with that thing. Mm -hmm. And let me see. Let me just put it up. Oh, you hold this a second. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. That's what I want. These lines? Yes. That's what I want, those lines. I don't d disturb this too much, but I just want some lines like that. Okay. It, it does take practice with this thing. Yeah. And I don't even have enough. I even haven't even had that much practice with But look what's happening. Mm-hmm. That's gorgeous. Yeah. So now we're going to take this and... Let me hold that. Get a clean one. So you do some close-ups on that while I'm getting another straw. You need a skewer, too. You need to do... So we could just do, that's really cool what's happening there. Mm -hmm. so this needs a little bit of that thing, but we're going to use a straw instead and just go like. Now let's see what happens. It's making just these little yeah, it's coming up. delicate kind of lines. And you could take the skewer and drag stuff. Kind of through there like that too. Wipe it off. And if, it's, if it's too dark, this color, this is not enough to make it, uh, uh, something happen. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to dip it in in the color because the black is too strong. Yeah, you could even use the thicker stick. Okay. Put it over the side. Now that that's there, I might be able to get a little bit more. You don't want everything the same width. There. Then you stop. You say, well, is that enough? Mm -hmm. So I think it is. Yeah. Could overdo it. Meantime, look at all the cells that keep coming up, I know, right? Oh, it's gorgeous. Tons of cells coming up. It is gorgeous. And of course, it's metallic, so. It's going to be, uh, it's almost like a bloom. Yeah. Right? It's almost like a bloom. I think I'm just, this This little section is still bothering me just a little bit. I think I'd like to repeat some, some of these lines through here. Maybe even some of the turquoise lines using the stick like I just demonstrated. Um, if you find that something is too, too thick, you could always run your black back into it again or use your blower. Don't put the paint in my mouth. Oh, it's dry. Okay. So like this is a little little thick. A little light. Sorry about the light. Yeah. Gave it a little bit uh, of a curve to it and also um, broke up some of that too thickness. Mm -hmm. it's a, that's a better shape. Yeah. So, so we're always thinking about shape when when we're doing this kind of stuff. So I, I'm going to have her try to blow or, or use the stick to put some some lines through here. You got one little line, but I think, you know, something else strong. And, 
go in here and then go through it. You don't want the same line, is what I'm saying. Okay. And that is a little thicker with that one. Bring the whole thing over there. It'll be easier for you. That's it. And we're going. I don't think there's that much more we have to do to this. No, I don't either. I don't know. Okay. So here and to there, is you just want to. Um, this way and then cross over and out. Drag it. That's it. Drag it through and out, up and out. Yeah. Okay. Give me that a second. We don't want a V. Okay. So what we don't want is this V. This, this, this V in here. So while it's wet, You pull the white through it, and you can get rid of that V, see, real easy. Yeah. And you softened it, too. Yeah. You know, it's never over till it's over. Yeah. And it's still, it's still on the strong side, so let me just put a little bit more of that white in there. Okay. I think that's good enough. Mm -hmm. Don't we think we want to overdo that corner? Just want to soften it into here so it looks like it belongs. That's, this is a little strong still. And so instead of using the same color, bring that turquoise over here. Okay, instead of using the same color so that it fits in better. Okay, better. It was just too much just tan. Everything else is mingled in together, so all of a sudden it was just like. That's, yeah. So now it's, it's together. I still think that's too strong. So if it's too strong, okay. We got the white. You know, part of, part of doing this stuff is knowing how to fix things. Right. And you just keep going till you fix it. So I'm going to just drop some of this in here. And it's very easy to get rid of some of that. Too strong. It's a little too strong. You want to hold this cup for me? Yes. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to stand up. <laughs> just breaking up it up a little bit more. Yeah, much better. Yeah. It was too thick. And it was overpowering. It was too strong. So it's it's much better now. It kind of goes with this now. Mm -hmm. Adding the turquoise repeated that turquoise and brought it together. What do you think? I like it. I think it's beautiful. I don't think we should blow it anymore. No, I don't either. I think it's, it's I pretty. Love this. Now, I'm not sure how she's going to hang it. Let's see how it looks this way. You wanted it vertical, didn't you? Either way. Either way, it'll work. On I mean, that wall? Once we, yeah, on the wall. You got a little <laughs> black right there, or tan there, or turquoise, something there. And here we go. Just a few little picky things. Gorgeous piece. Color, I love the colors. All right. This is amazing what's happening here. All the, the lacing. The lacing and the cells. Just beautiful. I get that glare off there. Wow. This turquoise, this metallic turquoise is just gorgeous. It is. I think that's... We shouldn't overwork this piece. I think it's beautiful just the way it is with the the uh, Payne's gray at the top and the creamy white at the bottom. So what do you think? Are you happy? Yes. She's happy. Okay. <laughs> I like it. That's just a wrap.